What is backward design and alignment? Alignment and backward design are instructional strategies paramount for successful course design. An alignment is a condition in which all the counterparts within a group or relationship work together. Think of gears that turn together to cause the minute hand to move on a clock. All the pieces must interlock in order for the clock to keep time. In course design, there are five counterparts that must be aligned to ensure a student's success. They are learning objectives, assessments, instructional activities, resources, and course technology. The way these five counterparts work together is referred to as alignment. The instructional strategy called backward design stipulates the order of the alignment. Backward design focuses on what students need to learn rather than what we want to teach. If you start at the end goal, meaning you start with what students should know and work backward, you are assured that your students finish your course with an understanding of what is most important for them to learn. Once course objectives are established, you must next decide on how you want to assess the student's ability to successfully complete the objective. In order for the objective and the assessment to be aligned, they must work together. For instance, if the objective is for the learner to be able to demonstrate the ability to make a flaky pie crust, but the assessment is a multiple choice test, the objective is not aligned with the assessment. Again, working backwards, the third counterpart of an alignment map is the instructional activities that prepare the student to achieve success on the assessment. Using our pie crust example, aligned activities would be for students to weigh ingredients, roll pie dough, etc. Because it would not prepare the student to achieve the assessment, a misaligned activity for this particular objective would be to read an article on the history of pies. Still working backwards, the fourth step in our backwards alignment map is to provide resources that will help the student do the instructional activities. For instance, in order for a student to make a flaky crust, you may assign text to read and pie crust demonstrations to watch to prepare them to successfully complete the activity. Lastly, if you use technology in your course, it must also align. Using our pie crust example, technology such as a word processing program requiring a student to write a paper would not align with this particular objective, but a video demonstration of the student making the pie would. Now you have it, backwards design and alignment working together for quality course design.